Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feeds and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Royal representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever Zina, I want to um, take the, the time to introduce our special guest um, to the platform um, Impressive Heights is um, is the name of her product or her brand, Zane. So I want to introduce Sharika Zane to the Mindset Program. Blessed love. Blessed love, Aija. Rastafari love. Give thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Anna, and a pleasure, my sister. Great to have the eye on the platform. Good to hear the advice. Yes, I give thanks. Yeah, man. Manners and respect. Impressive heights. Wow. <laughs> um, talk to me about the name, you know, Impressive Heights, first and foremost. All right. So for me, Impressive Heights is rooted in a universal thing. It's more than just I. Mm. It's my ancestors. You know, it's Africa. It's the king. It's the queen. You know, it's a culmination of frequencies, it's nature. You know, it's a channel through which I represent my frequency of Africa, you know. See. Pause. So that is impressive. Eyes. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. But at the same time it's yes, a sir. brand it's a brand also. Right? Right, right. Yes I yes I powerful. Powerful. All right, we're gonna get into the brand. Um, further and still, um, talk to me about the ice self though. Um, where, where, where in Jamaica the ice from? So I am in Spanish Town, Jamaica, in Saint Catherine here. Okay. Yes, I. Nice, nice Saint Catherine. <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> That's the far eye. Seen and talk to me about um, what the I always grew up in Saint Catherine. No, I born and grew in Kingston. Okay. You know, in in uh, Kingston, and then I moved there to Saint Catherine. So I've been living in Saint Catherine a while, you know. Okay. But rooted in Kingston. See, 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 see. And um, talk to me about growing up in Kingston. Oh, oh, how was that experience for the eye? Ah, growing up in Kingston, it was it wasn't bad, you know. I just feel like. For me, as a child, you know, everyone gets faced with certain circumstances and so. Mm. But I grew up with not really, you know, like loving myself and things like that. And as a child, I never really felt conscious, you know, like when I wake up now and I'm empowered in certain things. As a child, I, I was faced with a lot of, you know, depression and things where I was living, so that kind of like blocked the frequency on my journey but as i grew up you know and changed my environment and start to learn about african natural beauty and just my whole essence changed you know so environment has a lot to do with my whole consciousness and so yeah, you, my overall development you, you, as a sister. You, 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 you think where you was at the time was blocking the frequency you, 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 you couldn't receive what, um, what you're receiving yeah. now? Yes, I definitely. In, in, definitely. In, 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 in terms of what though? What, 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 what do you define it as? I know it couldn't just be one well, thing still. Yeah, so for me, it was the environment, you know. So, yeah, it was just the environment and not understanding how to really channel my energy, to really overcome certain things. So I was more susceptible for taking it bad, <laughs> you know, in a sense of anxiety and depression, mm -hmm. things like that. So coming out of that environment and moving to St. Catherine, you know, it, taught me a lot about myself because I'm still learning but I had to unlearn a lot of things as well you know 
powers, powers, powers. That's the far right. Yes, sir. So um in, in, in terms of um siblings and you know brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. I have two brothers. <laughs> I have a little brother, he's about nineteen. He's about to be twenty in April and I have an older brother. No sisters, but I have many sisters, you know what I mean? <laughs> true, 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 true. Give thanks. Yes, sir. Give thanks. That's the far right. And how, how well did the I do in school academically? So I went to St. Andrew High School for girls. See. And then I went to University of the Commonwealth Caribbean, which is in Kingston, New Kingston there. So I did like a business, a business degree in that school. Mm. And now I'm a full-time artist. Same, same. Yes, sir. There is a full time artist. So, when I say artist, no, what what we are talking about? Cause that that that, that you know, people I listen to I you know I want could I say boy, but me no hear I just start playing you know, a music or sure, you know, <laughs> kind of artist. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I do art as in textile art. So it's mostly fabric based. Yeah. You know, so it's. I can sing a little and thing, but wow. <laughs> I'm more like, <laughs> yeah, I'm more in the artsy side, so more sewing and fabric things, you know? See. Yeah, and painting. I really love painting. Okay, okay, okay. So oh, when did that start for the eye? When did the art part? Was that from young age? Yes, sir. So at five. I can distinctly remember my mother always telling me this story of how I'm in school and my primary teacher, she saw me draw a painting. And from that day, she put it up in her classroom. She said, may I go reach far, you know, based on how well the painting was done. So even growing up, I, I use that as a motivation because it's not a lot of places that really encourage you know artists in general so having something you can walk with through your teenage years and you know your adult life to me that that moment i carried that from my childhood here so yes sir see see all right yeah you, 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 but you, you did um you did business at university zine i know you you're running a business but um, probably someone would not expect you to be in a bank or somewhere like that at work. Yeah, well, for me, <laughs> <laughs> I no. So I really, I really stay rooted in my own essence, particularly because I believe that I know that we all should follow our hearts. Mm. So for me, that is putting my art out there through whatever medium, whether it want to come through poetry or jewelry making or painting. But for me, my foundation is in art, you know, so that is where the business even comes in. True. Right. So I could be doing what everybody else is doing, but mm -hmm. you can't really follow everybody and society and, you know, be the norm. You have to be out of the norm for stick to your true identity so this is my roots you know see so 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 what um what mom and dad think about this route that they are is you know going they're very proud of me you know they're accepting of it because i have some artists in my family as well you know but it was a big decision for me to become a full-time artist and it is something that I had to decide that I want to do because it is for me and for the imprints that I would leave on the generations to come. It's a serious thing. It's not like I can say, oh, my God, follow what mommy want or daddy would I want. You have to think for yourself. True. You know, you have to know yourself and know what it is you want to do and put your own step and you take a journey, you know, on your own. So it's an inner thing, you know, it's a spiritual thing, it's an inner guidance, and it's all ancestral linked. Because when you check it out, there are things that our ancestors started that 
we didn't finish. They didn't get to finish. So we know, we now hold the torch to proceed with these gifts that we have and leave the impact on the earth that we should. So when you say that a one can do, for example, construction, I don't good with carpenter, they are a dancer, a singer, mm. you know, a musician, these things travel from your ancestors. They're things that they did not get to finish. So it is our responsibility to get it out, you know, channel these things and just be your own essence, be that person you've always were, because it never started from no. It's, it started from them time day, <laughs> you know? See it. It's an ancestral, yes, sir. So, yeah, I so me, 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 me did have one ancestor who love come and read the corona up in more like me. <laughs> you not, you will never know. <laughs> <laughs> You probably have one ancestor who love talk about things, you know, different things that you like. But that's how it goes, for real. But when you date it back, you'll find, say, oh, your great-grandmother used to do this, or your great-great-great. And you say, oh, when you check it out, it's a, it's a lineage thing. And mm. in you right now, you're carrying your seed, you know. So, you know, so your seed is also gifted with some of what you have. You know what I mean? True. So it's a generational thing, yes, sir. True, 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 true. All right, so uh, the 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 art that the I do, um, what 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 it's based on? Right, so my art is rooted in Africa. Mm -hmm. So I study the different countries in Africa. I'm currently studying different countries, and from the countries, I whatever resonates with I, you know, spiritually, I channel that through my art. So different things from culture, whether that be drums or instruments, anything particularly. It's all based in African consciousness and getting things out there that people don't really talk about, you know? So like even the djembe drum mm. that is rooted in Mali, in Africa, that is one of the things that our ancestors use, you know, as communication, you know, sure. amongst each other and it is something that we use in rastafari as well mm -hmm. as rastafari yes sir. so just putting things out there that is very it's, a, it's like a spiritual pull you know this is what you need to do so whatever i cite when i'm reading or studying anything in africa i put it out there bit by bit so that ones can have insight as to what we really don't talk about, you know. It's just a remembrance for me. True. Powers. Yes, sir. Powers. All right. So, uh, the, 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 oh, oh, you like, I don't know, the, 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 the things them that you, you create because I follow, yes, I follow sir. the eye on, on, on um, Instagram and I, I, I see the eye work and thing. You know what? What? What is the process? Are I know it's textile in in um in art, right? But what? What is what yes, is sir. the process? You know, it take the eye to you know to create some of the things them that I see the eye creating. Okay, so I use natural fabric. So I use mostly plant based fabrics. Mm -hmm. So like burlap. You will see me use a lot of burlap. We in Jamaica call it crocus bag. Okay. But it was made from jute, which is a a plant which is um native to India and Africa. And from these fabrics I paint on them. And I also recreate portraits of many sorts. Mm. So the first place I get the fabric and prepare it, you know, wash it and stuff and paint on it prepare the paint and the portrait and and then I get it out there. It's a simple process. It doesn't take me more than two to three days. It depends on the size of the portrait, mm -hmm. but it's not a really hard process at all. But it's something I love, so even if I pass certain hours, <laughs> I'll be on it, you know, just getting it done. Working, working, working. So what, you have to use your sewing machine and, and things like that? 
Yes, so I do use my sewing machine as well as I hand stitch. So I do a lot of embroidery on it, so a lot of sewing with my hands to get particular work done on it as well. Yes, I Rastafari. So you do like none of the digital type of things them that we see um, happening now with, with, with drawing because we know you have a whole lot of big artists out there now Zine where mm -hmm. they're using this this um this you know this upgrade thing you know me know artists where them never have them type of thing of to use pan pan tablets and them type of thing the artist mm -hmm. just draw naturally and I say wow you know that look you know powerful mm -hmm. yes yes you know free and artists so yeah. yeah. <laughs> They I don't indulge in 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 any uh, the technical. No, no, I don't. Well, who knows what is to come? So I can I can say I don't as yet, because you know you just never know what might happen, or what other medium I can do. But for now, I mostly work with like canvas and textiles, so that's fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay. Original fabrics, yes I. And what 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 you you use paint as you say what what are the type of paints where you acrylic and I use acrylic. Okay. I use acrylic right now as well. Yes. And what does the acrylic does? So the acrylic, it's a pretty light medium paint that, to me, I find it easier than the oil based painting. Mm -hmm. But it's it dries quick. <laughs> but it's just easy to work with for me, okay. you know. It's smoother than working with oil for me. Rastafari. So um I I, I, I see the eye um on the road, you know what I mean? Oh oh always you know, always the business street in the eye. Cause I, I remember um some point ago i reached out to the i wanted to have the eye on the platform um the i wasn't ready at the time um the eye is <laughs> ready the eye is ready now zin how how always you know always always the market treating the eye always you know always the customers them treating it it's very lovely, you know, and I, I give thanks for every interaction that I've had thus far. As I've been to places like Kingston Night Market and Kingston Creative, you know, to display my artworks. And I'm telling you, like, people, you can learn so much from ones and even different perspectives of your own artwork. So it has, it has been very good, you know, and... People are beautiful, their minds are beautiful, and I'm, I'm very grateful, you know, for all the interactions thus far. Yes, I Rastafari. So, the, 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 is it a thing where, because I know with, with Rastafari, Zane, you know, any little event I keep on a guan, you know, <laughs> Rasta, you know, you see a Rasta man, or yeah. you see a Rasta woman there with some, you know, with some craft or, you know, something uh, 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 a yeah, sell, yeah. you know? Yeah. I saw the, I saw the eye of meditate for take on the road. Of course, like anywhere I can be, I'm going there. I'm going to be there. That is how my mind set up right now. <laughs> Just after going to the spaces, like make the time and going to the spaces, expose my work and, even if I'm not physically putting work there, I want to be in spaces where I can learn from different artists and communicate and connect with different ones and the people. So, yes, I, it's just more spaces and elevation, evolution. That's what I say to him. Rastafari. Yes, do, you, do you feel like um, your work go with um, the dub culture? that we, we, we have now within um within reggae hmm, i would say yes yes i but it's rootical you know it's very rootical so 
whatever I am doing, uh, Africa, I say, so there is no, it's all interconnected, I should say. Mm. Yes, I. Rastafari. All right, talk to me a little bit about um, Rastafari. Um, how did that journey start for the eye? Uh, so this has been a very spiritual journey for me. I have a lot of Rastas in my family, yes, but for I, I was always drawn to fire as a, as, a, as, as a child growing up, but I've never been very versed in it per se, so it's when I reached probably like in my teenage um, years, I started to read on different stuff and surround myself with different people, and then I get a vision, <laughs> you know, of His Majesty. And it was very spiritual for I, because he was standing in a church with a big book of names, and upon the names, I cited my name, and I touched it, you know, and I look up on His Majesty, and him nodding head after me. You know, when I get a couple more visions, it's like, you can't really, for me, it's like visions and so, they're ancestral, they're very spiritual, and anything at all that is rooted in me, it's something that I'm supposed to follow. So, I stay grounded in Rastafari, because Rastafari I call I. <laughs> so... I don't shy away from learning more or staying on the journey. This is where I'm supposed to be. You know, it's a calling. It's a groundation. It's a nurture. It's my balance. So even now I give thanks for the light because the light takes me through a lot of darkness. <laughs> and it changed me, you know, changed my mindset on who I was, who I am supposed to be. And where I'm supposed to continue going. So Rastafari is love and Empress Menin's vibration has grounded me mentally, spiritually, physically, and it's something I hold dear to my heart. So, yes, I. What, um... It started as a spiritual pull, and it's something that I, it's eternal, and I will forever stay grounded in. Yes, I. Rastafari, and um, with within within Rastafari still, um, ones would say there are there are many houses are you know within the mansion of Rastafari there are houses. Um, would you say that you know you you, you are um, designated to a particular house within Rastafari? No, I'm just a Rastafari. I I find that, yes, there are a lot of houses, but there is a lot of segregation in the many houses, and I believe that we all should unite as far as and, you know, spread more love, because how I cite it, we are all interconnected, even if we find, say, we all might have a bit of a difference, but the segregation and stuff like that, I don't really gravitate towards it. I just am um, a Rastafari woman, so, so when, that is when, just I. When it, when it's a segregation, I, I understand the term still, but what 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 <laughs> what what you mean? What what, what you say that um you you would say there is segregation? Okay, so, for example, you know, the eyes of Baba Shanti, one probably come from my next 12 tribe, and we have Naya Bingi. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of disagreements between the eyes, and sometimes it's pride and ego, you say it, mm -hmm. amongst the eyes, which stops the evolution of Rastafari. So we don't have a lot of progress because we can't get along with each other over simple things, you know, and we as Rastafari are supposed to can say, all right, brother and sister, we might see something different, but let us see where we can find a common ground so that we can elevate and 
transform, you know, and repatriate, things like that. So to me, segregation is what blocks us from seeking even advice from the younger generation, you know, pride and ego, things like that. Mm -hmm. So when we're, when we're separated first, even in our mind, that is where it starts. So when we're separated in our mind, we are not open to communication from other ones. So that right there is a block that increases and increases over time because one can travel with a block throughout lifetime, you know, because you hold something dear to you or you just hold a perspective in your head that you're not open to communication from ones and ones from different houses. So we, we don't have a common ground with certain ones. So that is what I mean. I just want more identity, you know, just want to see more brother and sister identity and less pride and ego, but more identity and progression because we can do it as Rastafari. We just need to learn how to unlearn and be open and mm. yes, I. That's what I said. I, 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 um, I hope I'm not be. I, I don't want to sound rude, and I, and I don't want to come across like that. Still, seen, but I, I, I suspect yeah. that the eye is um probably, you know, within your, you know, twenties, maybe not still. Yes, sir. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So you know, the eye yeah. is the eye. You know, is a young rastafari um sister empress you know queen you know a forward up all right let me ask right. the eye this zane if you didn't get a vision yeah. from his majesty zane looking at looking at the movement right now would it attract the eye of course yeah the thing is, I, 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 I can't really answer if I didn't get a vision. Mm. The thing is, I did get a vision, so I can only respond from there, if you know what I mean. Because the vision was the instrument that led me here. So I can only speak from there, you say. True. So I wouldn't be able to answer if I didn't have the vision. Yes, I. Rastafari. <laughs> Give thanks. Yes, yes I. I. Give thanks. Give thanks. All right. What, what the I would send out to, like, you know, younger youths, you know, within your age bracket, seeing, um, we know Jamaica now, you know, some people still call it a paradise and, and, and thing. You see me, I say? Because of pride at the same time. But we know a lot of crime and violence and them things that take place in a, in, a, in a Jamaica. You know, for young youths in, yes. within your age bracket, you know, what, you know, searching, what, what, what advice would you give them, you know, if... You know, if if you if you was mm -hmm. a spokesperson for Rastafari, you know, what what type of advice would you give them to attract them to, you know, the movement? Mm. I would say that if uh, our general system is interested in, you know, following and becoming a part, just being inside of the liberty and embracing it too. If you feel that spiritual pull, you search it, you study it, you feel it out because we are called for a reason. Don't shy away from the feeling and you will probably get rejected. Ones might probably don't understand you, overstand you, or why you think a certain way, why you want to explore Rastafari. But the call is for a reason and it's when we answer the call that we are open to different channels and we start to see things differently. We hear things differently. We, be, we become a different person. So I would say to I, I that answer the call, you know, because the call is just for you. Yes, I. 
Rastafari. Yeah, man. Answer the call. Answer the yes, call. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I give thanks to the I am um, forwarding upon the program because, as I say, I've been observing um, the eye and the eye work and things still. So, you know, today is a, is a great honor, yes, you know, um, especially yes, being um, the anniversary of the battle yes, yes. of Adawa. You know, mm-hmm. oh, 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 yes, oh, 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 the I see that um in 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 this time. You know, a very historical yes, event. Sir. Yes, sir. So it's the one. I think it's the one hundred and twenty seventh anniversary now yeah. today. Yeah, it is a special day indeed because that is that is basically the root of our liberation as Ethiopians. You know. What Empress Taito and King Menelik did, it's like a statue for our liberation. And it's something that we can look at, even as a younger generation, as something that marks our evolution, our greatness, because we were never conquered. You know, True. it was our Africans, it was that unity. We can look at that unity that we mm-hmm. came together and fought against the Italians. What unity can actually do when we come together as people? So, it is a mighty day indeed, and it's very significant for us as Africans, as Ethiopians, to continue with the unity and to continue to fight for truth and rights. You know, a higher consciousness and liberation as Africans. Yes, sir. Rastafari. Yeah, man, for real. Yeah, man, great day, you know? Great day, powerful day. Yes, sir. True, 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 true. Also, um, a day also remembering um, the, form, the, form, the formation of, um, you know, the Bobo Shanti, you know, the Congress, the okay. Ethiopia Africa okay. Black International Congress. You know, it's also the formation day. This is the day that um, it was you know, organized and structured and, you know, put together, put oh. out there to the world. Yes, sir. Uh, how, 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 how do you see the Bobo Shanti um, movement? How, how, how you see that? Uh, so I do have Bobo Shanti in my family. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I... Um, I just see it as love. You sight I sight far I with love. I I don't sight as 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 much as many ones have differences. All I sight is that is his majesty's work, his Empress Menin's work and the vibration that we emit when we are chanting our giving eyes is and doing just work, that is the greatest thing. So as long as ones are doing just work that is evolution, that is elevation, that are the heights. So it is our love, you know. Yes, sir. Rastafari. So you, 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 you because all right. The reason why I asked the eye that you know, because yes, sir. um, as the I say within within the movement, they are they are segregation, seen and they I want to see unity as as myself you know we don't want to be um separated and you know because of trivial right. trivial things um right one one of the things i think that separate us is because um bobo shanti um said that prince emmanuel is is the black christ how 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 do how, oh. how, how do you see that if you understand you know you know the whole thing how, 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 how do you see that because most you must know of Christ right mm. so as I was telling the eye you know each house has a different perspective a different vision mm-hmm. and a different order that they hold which is sacred to them and it is an honor to them it's a groundation to them i cite it all as love and i respect each and every one of 
you know, the mansions and what it is that the eyes order emanates. So I don't I don't want to comment on any order per se. Because I don't experience Baba Shanti, you know, so I would not have a say to the views of Baba Shanti's order. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Rastafari. But but in seeing Christ then, as someone um as Christ, as we hear about, you know, oh, who you see Christ as? Because a lot of Rastafari still um declare his majesty as 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 being as being the the Christ, the Yahshua. Yes I so I do cite his majesty as Christ. Rastafari. Rastafari, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So there I do see his majesty as Christ. Yes, sir. So you you wouldn't have a have, have a issue with someone now declaring themselves as the black Christ? No. It is all love. As I said, all mansions are different and to each his own in the own essence and foundation of their own self and respect is for each mansion so it is not my place you know what i mean to give a, a perspective or a, a, a energy towards this is not right or that is not right everyone has their own vision or experience and acts that they go through on their own journey mm. so i respect the eyes so and it is all love so everyone should have um, that same vibe and frequency where the eye push out and all. everyone should just show love and respect for you know yes, sir. everyone it would be a joy it would be a joy to sight more of that <laughs> rastafari <laughs> yeah man yes, give sir. thanks give thanks and um the I speak about Africa. Um, what what what's um what's the I uh, meditation and and you know going forward there? You know, the I looking forward to take the I work to Africa. Definitely, definitely. I definitely want to travel and you know. I have family there as well, but I definitely want to travel and explore and read up more, get to know the ancients, them, even Rastafari is in Africa. But I want to get more rooted in the different countries. And, you know, when you're on the land yourself, you have a different education. So True. things will probably be more clearer than how you probably feel they are at the moment. Mm -hmm. So things get realer when you are there so yes i i definitely can't wait to be there <laughs> and they are they are they are have no specific place still anywhere in africa well i tell you first you know <laughs> <laughs> i tell you first for sure you know but yeah i want to explore ghana as well but there are so many places that we don't even know about that exist, and I'm yeah. still studying. True. You know, but it's a joy. See, we know that we have a beautiful continent out there and people of different cultures, because there's a lot that we don't know about, you know, a lot of ways of our brothers and sisters. There's so much culture to learn, you know about and also in africa things to unlearn mm -hmm. you know what i mean because we have a lot of um we have a lot of mindset that is still europeanized in africa you know the heaviness on africa right now so we here probably in jamaica yeah we are still trying to re get rid of the european mindset but those in africa are also struggling with that so is a thing where we have to really try our best to stay grounded in our roots and help our brothers and sisters 
as much as we can by embracing our roots and natural self, things like that. So we still have a lot of unlearning to do. I still have a lot of unlearning to do, relearning and embracing. So the more I grow and I study and I learn more about Africa and our people and even consciousness breaking down certain things, you know, mm. if we become a new person, you know, yes, sir. Rastafari. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Africa is a big continent, you know, so for real. Yes, sir. Yes, my sister. So, um, what's next for the eye, you know, in terms of, um, you know, the eye project and the eye work, you know, what, 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 what we can look forward next to? Yes, I'm currently working on my solo exhibition. The date is to be announced, <laughs> but I'll be having my solo exhibition soon, you know, and bringing that African frequency here in Jamaica and just exhibiting my works. And I look forward to exhibiting my works other places as well, but I am doing up some works for more exhibitions hmm. right now. Yes, I. Rastafari. And um, where where yes. the people them can um find the eye and and um you know get the eye um work to to buy and thing. Okay, so you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, and Twitter at Impressive Heights. That's E M P R E S S I V E Heights I T E S. That's on all social media platforms. Or you can call one 309 1220 That's my telephone number. So that you can purchase any art that you say that you'd like. And I can ship it to you. I do local and international shipping at the moment. Yes, sir. Powerful. 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 Yes, sir. Give thanks. Give um, thanks. Been an honor and a pleasure reasoning with the eye, you know. Yeah, them say yes, sir, likewise. For real, for real. And um words of encouragement to you know the world at large. Yes, sir. So I want to say stay strong. I know that a lot of things are happening in Jamaica and the world at large, but hold the faith, you know, hold the faith and Hold your vision, what you have for yourself. Hold your purpose and all it take go. Because that is a light that is carrying you. You know, and it's a light that the world needs to see. So don't give up on yourself and don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on, on, on the big picture. Things might probably look small right now, but you put in the work. You take one step at a time. You can't take the whole staircase, you know. Stay grounded in the knowing that there is more to life than what you probably might be going through at the moment. But just keep going. Rastafari. Rastafari. Yes, my sister. Um, great honor and a pleasure, you know, for have the eye on the program. And um, I pray yes. that, you know, the most I will continue to inspire the eye to, you know, enlarge in the eye um, territory. And um, give that. Yeah, man, blessed the I said we, you know, to um put out good works, you know, in all the I endeavors to said we. So, more life, more health, more strength, my sister, and you know, a more blessing. You yes, know? sir. And I just want, I just want to say to the I, to just continue the great works and stay strong yourself, you know, as you continue to put out the energy if and time. keep ones on your journey as well, because you are doing a great work. So keep it up and more life and more strength. Give yes, thanks. I. Give thanks, my sister. Manners and respect, man. So yes, that's your powers and blessing. Yes, I. Rastafari, though. Rastafari. Empress Meninai. Ja. Rastafari. For thousands of years, humans have been searching 
studying the plants around us, working to create herbal healing solutions, blended with the best from Mother Nature, a gateway to healing and a better life. This is the answer. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.